Hi guys, this is Malinki. Welcome to my channel, Voice of Malinki. Today I will discuss about Immunology Lecture 7, Cytokines. And if you are new in my channel, please subscribe my channel. And if you like my video, please do like, comment and share my video. Okay, so let me tell you a situation. Suppose I am in a big trouble. Now I want your help. I mean I need the help of my friends. Now, all of my friends are not staying here with me. In fact, nobody is here with me. Some of them are in India, some are in US, some in UK, some in Africa, like that. So, how do they help me? First of all, they are supposed to know my condition. They must know about my trouble. Then only they can help me, right? So, how do I convey them my condition? Either I will call them or I may WhatsApp them. I may drop them a message. I can send letter. I may use Facebook, Insta, etc, etc. So I have to use a particular way to let them know my condition. And we can use the word messenger. We can use the word messenger to describe these all of these ways in a single word or biologically I love to call them cytokines. Cytokine is nothing but a messenger. Now coming to our body when my little finger is infected by a particular pathogen, suppose my little finger is cut and it is infected by a particular pathogen. Now it seeks help from our whole body. It calls our immune cells in order to defend. But immune cells are not residing in the vicinity of the infection site, right? They are wandering through blood and lymph. They need a signal. And they need a message that my little finger requires them. And to do that, some cells of that infected site will release cytokines. So some cells, so these are those cells. These cells will release cytokines that will go and tell those immune cells. So these cytokines are going to tell these immune cells that, yeah, something is there. They require your help. And... We want you to come in this spot. So they will now go to the site of infection. So this is the way how cytokines work. Now chemically cytokines are proteins. So cytokines are proteins. They are scientifically called signaling molecules. So they are called Signaling molecules. Cytokines are produced by a broad range of cells. Each cytokine has a matching cell surface receptor. So, if a cytokine is released from the cell A, now it will bind to the cell surface receptor of cell B. So, this cytokine will now go and bind this receptor and then they will do their work. So one cytokine binds the cytokine receptors of a target cell. Here the target cell is B and the cytokine is produced from cell A. So once the cytokine binds the cytokine receptor of the target cell B, it generates an internal signal and this signal alters the activity of that target cell. So cytokine can act in three ways. So, first one is autocrine action. So, they bind to receptor on the membrane of the same cell that secreted it. Suppose, this is a cell. This is a cell A. And this is the producer cell because it produces cytokines. Now, Cytokines, these are cytokines, these are released from the cell A. Now they will act on the same cell. 
so they will act on this cell a only so they have secreted from cell a and now they will act on this cell a this is called as autocrine action next is paracrine action so here they bind to receptor on a target cell in close proximity to the producer cell so here here cell a is producer cell and again cell a is target cell because cytokine is produced from cell a and it will target cell a so here this cell a is acting as both producer cell and target cell but here what happens in paracrine suppose this is cell a and cytokines are released from cell a and then they will go to cell b and in cell b their cell surface receptor is there and cytokines will attach that cell surface receptor and they will enter cell b so here cell a is the producer cell and b is the target cell so cytokines are produced from cell a and they are targeting cell b and this b and a they are in close proximity now endocrine here they travel through circulation and acting on target cells in distant parts of the body so here here suppose this is cell a this is the producer cell and it releases cytokines now these cytokines will move through the blood and go to the distal side and here cell b is there and these cytokines will now attach the cell surface receptor of cell b and then they will act on cell b so here b is the target cell so the difference between paracrine and endocrine is in paracrine both producer cell and target cells are in close proximity whereas in endocrine the cell a and cell b that is producer and target cells are residing away from each other right so these are the three ways how do uh, these cytokines work now different types of cytokines are found like first of all interleukin then tnf or tumor necrosis factor interferon colony stimulating factor and chemokines so they all have different different functions and we will discuss one by one so first is interleukin and tnf interleukin and tnf they both mediate inflammation now this is their main function although they have other functions too but inflammation is the primary function and i will teach inflammation in detail in my future video then you can understand its function very well but for now just remember that these two cytokines mediate inflammation next is interferon so when a virus infects a cell suppose this is the virus it is infecting this cell a this is the host cell and this virus is infecting this cell a now this cell a or host cell it will produce interference so this cell host cell is producing number of interference and these interference get released from this virus infected cell and they bind to nearby uninfected cell so this is an infected cell and this interference will bind them so this interference will bind this uninfected cell then uninfected cell will produce antiviral proteins so now this nearby uninfected cell will produce antiviral proteins when the interference bind them they will produce antiviral proteins and now now when the virus comes to infect this uninfected cell now this virus 
is released from this host cell and now it is attacking these nearby uninfected cell this cell this is the cell b so now the virus is attacking this cell now what will happen we know that antiviral proteins are already made right so we can see that antiviral proteins are already made and they will destroy viral genome so when this viral genome enters this is the viral genome so when the viral genome enters in the cell b or d cell so the antiviral proteins that are already made by yeah, the action of interference they will destroy this viral genome and if viral genome is destroyed viral proteins will also not be generated hence viral growth will be ceased and in this way interference prevent spread of viral infection so interference prevents spread of viral infection clear colony stimulating factor or csf so we know that all types of white blood cells or leukocytes do arise in the bone marrow so they do arise in the bone marrow and all of them arise from a precursor mother cell that is called hematopoietic stem cell this is the precursor mother cells and this is called a hematopoietic stem cell now colony stimulating factors or csf they bind to the receptor on these hematopoietic stem cell so they have some receptors and the colony stimulating factor will bind them and when they bind the receptor of these stem cells they will activate an intracellular signal that causes the stem cell to proliferate and differentiate into specific kind of blood cell and depending on the cytokine specific type of wbc is formed suppose suppose this is the stem cell and now colony stimulating factor a csf a and here csf b and here csf c will act and this is this black one this is the stem cell now when a is acting on these stem cell when csf a colony stimulating factor a is acting on this it will form neutrophil that we can see here and when colony stimulating factor b is acting on this stem cell it will form basophil that we can see here and when the colony stimulating factor will act on the stem cell it will form monocyte so although the stem cell is only one thing it is the unique thing stem cell but the different different colony stimulating factors a b and c they are acting on the same stem cell and they are producing neutrophil basophil monocyte that is different different wbc are getting produced from the same stem cell and that is depending on which type of colony stimulating factor is acting whether it is c whether it is b whether it is a what type of st colony stimulating factor is acting on the stem cell the differentiation will depend on that next is chemokine so these are actually chemo attractant they will attract something so they actually attract immune cells to come to the site of infection so when there is and so if suppose there is a cut here is the cut and when there is a cut definitely some bacteria will enter through the cut so there are, here is the uh, here is an infection so when here is an infection the chemokines will be fast secreted at the site of infection so here some chemokines these are actually chemokines they are actually released by some cells at the site of cut or at the site of infection these will attract our, our immune cells so they will attract our immune cells to 
come to the site so they will attract our immune cells that are present in the blood so they are migrating and they will attract those immune cells to come to enter the site of infection so when these cytokines are attracting these immune cells they will come to the site they will come to the site of infection so did you remember what i have said in phagocytosis lecture so i have already told that phagocytic cells require some chemicals to reach the site of infection in order to destroy the pathogen now these chemicals are nothing but the chemokines if you didn't go through the phagocytic lecture please have a look on it link is in the description box i promise you will enjoy that topic stay tuned with me bye bye